Hello beautiful people, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's vlog is going to be here, there and everywhere. I've got a lot of updates to share. We've got to have a big old flat apartment catch up. Once it's all done, I really want to do like an apartment tour, like a full complete furnished apartment tour, but we've still got little bits here and there to do. And until that moment, I just want to share with you a few little updates that have been happening until I can do the final furnished big flat tour. We're going to start today with a cheeky trip to Brighton. Me and my best friend Laura, we have had an incredibly busy, emotional couple of weeks, uh, especially me. This week in particular has hit me hard. I've just decided that I need a few hours by the beach. I need to feel that sea breeze air and I just want to scream. Like I literally want to go to the beach and just let out all the emotions that I've been feeling and going through this week. Sometimes you just need that. Sometimes you just need a break, a little bit of a reset, just a moment to be like, okay, I need to realign myself with my direction, my path, who I am. It is a very gray overcast day, but I'm hoping that the sunshine over the coast will come out peek its head through and say hello it'll be like the Teletubby sunshine where it'll just come out and bless us with all of its gorgeous smiles and rays and I'm ready for that energy I'm ready for today the time is currently midday I've just gotten ready I've gone for like a very I feel like I match my room today I feel like I blend in very nicely to the walls can you see me no you cannot but I'm feeling very autumnal today so I've got this gorgeous let me show you in the mirror so this is is my outfit today. So I've got this All Saints jacket that I picked up in a sample sale for £20. £20 for a denim All Saints jacket. I was over the moon and I really like the cropped fit of it. And then I've got a weekday sweater vest, which is really nice and cosy. And then just a nice little white layer underneath. I've got my grey pinstripe trousers on. I had to match the shoes because you always match the shoes. And I've gone for some Nike blazers. And then my bag of choice is my new Zara purchase, which I absolutely love. I just feel like it's the perfect size bag. It genuinely is just the most spacious Mary Poppins perfect bag I ever did see. So I hope you all enjoy today's video and let's go to Brighton. Look who I'm with, Laura. Hello lovely. Hello. It's really cold today. I forget that in London it's just it's just warmer than anywhere yeah, else in the country. Yeah, but I mean we're at the seaside. We are, we're by the coast. Oh by the way, we're in Brighton now. I picked up an oat hazelnut hot chocolate, delicious. And Laura has gone for... Decal. Oh, caramel latte. I think I've walked into heaven. Home Sense has all of their Christmas stuff out. Are you kidding me? That is the cutest little teddy I've ever seen. This reminds me of Moz the Monster from, from the John, John Lewis, Lewis advert. Yeah, that's what I'm Ambered Woods. Ambered? Embered Woods? Embedded? No. Embedded Woods. No. Um, what? Ambered? Amber she's quite nice. Is she? She's nice. Oh, she's not Christmas though. No, she's she like... isn't. She's autumn. Yeah. She's like bonfire night. <laughs> is this what you've got? Yeah, this is, is yeah, Christmas morning, gingerbread and buttercream. Oh, that's quite subtle ginger. I I'm like not this a ginger one. Fan. Also, how pretty is that label? Another DW home candle, which I am obsessed with. I can't get into it, but the lid is stunning. Look at that. Christmas See, I don't cocoa. like cocoa on sometimes because okay. it don't smell nice. Oh, really? no. No. Oh, that smells like sick in a jar. Yeah, that does. Look how cute this cushion is. I don't think I've ever seen a more beautiful cushion in my life. And I've said cute, that about a lot it? of cushions. I like the um, snow. Yeah, the 3D soft snow. And the trees. She's a moment cushion. We're in the Sasson Bell outlet and we're looking at Christmas decorations. That is very you. Like a nice little tartan two piece. Yeah, oh, that's you with your little check me. scar. Oh, and then my little tail, my Christmas tree. No, this is me yeah, in my winter. This is us together having a sleepover, waiting for Santa Claus. This is me knitting. <laughs> what are you knitting for? A very long scarf. Ooh, for your cozy neck. This is me in the future when I decide. I'll be like Barbie. Yeah. I'll have like four different- This is me, your fairy godmother. Oh, <laughs> you, I mean, you are my fairy godmother right now, in life in general. Oh, no, this is you, Laura. <laughs> this is me. Hang it on. <laughs> with my, and with me. My jelly <laughs> this is me keeping you afloat. Oh no, this is me. After all the food on Christmas Day. The robins are cute. Yeah, oh, what is this like? Oh, Rudolph the red nosed sheep. Baby. Rudolph the red nosed sheep. Maybe the sheep's bumped its nose. I'm loving this Brussels sprout wreath. How cute is that? Oh my god, that's so funny. Why do I want this? So we've come into Bird and Blend Tea because they've opened up a new store in Brighton and I'm obsessed with 
this tea. It's a gingerbread chai. It smells and tastes absolutely delicious, but annoyingly, they only have the loose tea, the loose leaf tea. They don't have any of the actual tea bags. If you love gingerbread and festive, Christmassy spiced drinks, this is unreal. We're in the photo booth emporium and we've got a little coin. We are about to get our annual photo booth emporium photo. Slay, elation and thrive. Thrive, yeah. Basically, Laura and I have like three words which we decide to live by. No, we've got another E here. Yeah. We're fine. And that is, for now, slay, elation, and thrive. So we're gonna write it on our board. Normally we go for like Jamie and Laura or like summer 2021, but this year we're gonna go for our three favorite uh, words, which is slay, elation, and thrive. We just need a V. We need a V. Sorry. Thrive. thrive. Oh, <laughs> Drive. Laura's currently sorting herself out with her no, cap on. Hat. It's gone flat. No, you're fine. Do you want to have a look at yourself? <laughs> <laughs> this is what our finished sign looks like. Slay, elation, thrive, 2022. We're now going to yeah. work out our poses first. It's not unusual. First one, we're going to go. Slay. I don't normally smile. I suddenly forgotten how to smile. Yeah, what about happy? Slay, elation, thrive. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so what's the first one? Okay, so what's the first one? Those are our four emotions. So slay is like, yes. Then we've got elation, which is like, oh my God. Thrive is like, yes. Then we've got elation, which is like, oh my God. Thrive is like, yes. 2022. So how have you felt this year so far? I'm going to do, oh. Because this year has been a oh, moment. Ah, what's the other one? What's the other one? Elation. What's next? Thrive. Thrive. And then 2022. I don't know what I did in that last one. Why did I do that? Regrets. You know when you take a photo, a photo of this picture and you're like, why did I do that pose? I know, they're cute. No, but what was I doing? Mine's cute. Oh, oh, I'm glad that we got it all in. Why did I put my hand up to my head? Why does my tongue look so big? <laughs> No. <laughs> that sums up your year to a T. <laughs> Confusion and cheekiness and happiness. That's a really nice photo. Yeah. And that's cute. That's cute. Another year, another memory. Ah. In. Oh, I forgot how to breathe for a second. I was like, how many times am I breathing in? It must be like 10 degrees now. We are walking along Brighton Beach. He's going for a swim. Don't go out too far, love. The tide's going to come in soon. I ain't the no lifeguard. The tide is high, but I'm, I'm holding on. on. I'm going to be your number one. one. Oh my god, there's harmony. I'm sorry. What was that X Factor duo? I know. I'm giving. It's giving me same difference vibes. It's giving me same difference vibes. We've just got another cheeky little pret. <laughs> um, and we're just gonna sit down, I listen to the waves. I... So do I. Just chilling. Should we just find a little place to prop ourselves? If I was in a West End musical, okay. And I sung like this. Never enough. Never enough. Would you stand up and give me an ovation? 100%. You know what? Oh, you're in a West End musical with that voice. Like, you've got talent. Would you still be my friend if I sat like this all the time? <laughs> I'd say maybe I would consider my life choices. This rock reflects all the people who have hurt me in life. Ugh. This rock reflects all of the bad negative energy that has ever come across in my life. Ugh. That was good. All negative energy. Yeah. All negative vibes. Yeah. And all round the future to positive slaying. Ready? Yes. This is for anyone who's made me feel not good enough. Ugh. I was very good at discus at school. Were you? Yeah. I wasn't. I was good at, well, was I good at javelin? No, I don't feel like I was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see you as a sporty lie. kind of girl. No, I was a 100 meter sprint. Well, I mean, that you're running it. the half marathon soon. That's only yeah, a few extra 100 meters. Sponsor. Jamie, leave my link down. Yeah! There. <laughs> Laura is going to be running the <laughs> half marathon. Did. Yeah, I'm putting it out there. I'm putting it out there. <laughs> and I really want to do it with her. But unfortunately, I've had to be added to the wait list. Bear in mind, I've never run. Can we just address that? It's like, you're gonna I'm start the girl practicing. who cheated on cross country. <laughs> oh my God, fun fact. I'm allergic to bananas. Are you? Yeah, I'm allergic to bananas, everyone. How did you find that out? My manager gave me a banana yesterday at work. My throat basically swell, swell, swelled up, swelled, swelled up, swelled up. And I was like, I, I got, yeah, I felt really, really? ill. Yeah. 
Maybe it's like the, is it potassium in bananas? Yeah, I think it's the high potassium. A final rock to throw. Okay, this is for if it goes to sea, this is gonna happen. Good vibes. Yeah. Positive energy. Good friendship. Yes. Memories. Yeah. Travel. Yeah. I'll throw one too then. Living our best life. Great people. Yep. No hair in my mouth. No toxicity. No. Just everything that yeah. we need. More days like this. Yes. More moments. Ready? Mwah. Mwah. <sighs> <laughs> Good morning, my loves. So I am back at home and oh, I don't know why I did, just did a little pirouette. Um, I'm now back at home. So obviously Laura and I did a little spontaneous trip to Brighton. And as I've said on many an occasion, Brighton for me is just one of those places which will always have a special place in my heart. I can't wait to walk my dog in the future. And I leave the house and I'm walking my dog by the coast, sea breeze in my hair, like I love that. That's what I envision for my life. Today's a new day. Today I wanted to share with you a little delivery that came. We've been slowly starting to put together the main living area. I'd say my room is, I wanna say 90% done. The only thing that I've still got to do is find something for my bedside table. Let me show you because I feel like I've constantly talked about it in my vlogs, but I haven't actually showed you. I don't know what to put on top of it. So on the bottom, I've got my favorite ever beautiful books. I've got this gorgeous smiley face lamp. These are two bits which I've recently added, but I'm not too sure about it. It's not giving me bedside table realness. I think I'm going to maybe change them, move them about, basically play around with it. So I've got this diffuser, which I got from Danelm, and then I got this beautiful Soho home candle, which I found in TK Maxx. Let me know if you have any suggestions for me? Should I go for something tall? Should I go for something slim? Should I go for a lamp? I don't know. Also, a couple of prints for above my bed. But apart from that, I'm really happy with how my room is looking. In terms of the rest of the house, my bathroom is pretty much done now. The hallway, we want to get a little a storage unit, but that won't come for probably a couple of months. And in terms of the kitchen, that's all done. My desk area, that's all done. I cannot wait to give you an apartment tour. But the main thing is the dining table. The chairs have recently delivered. So we got that delivery yesterday. So this morning, I'm going to set the final two chairs up. Alex kindly did two of the chairs. So I'm gonna finish off my laundry. I might change because it's actually quite a warm day. Then I'm gonna show you the dining table and chairs. Welcome to my living space. It's been a while, I think, since I've showed you in here. Today we've got very exciting things to set up, very exciting things being delivered, so I thought now is the perfect time to show you what the room is currently looking like. So each of us decided to buy something separate just because obviously after the few years that we live here it just means that we've each got something to take away. The thing that I decided to buy was the dining table and chairs. This is the dining table, so it's a four-seater dining table, but if you can see here it's got some latches and basically it's an extendable dining table. So it extends out from a four-seater to a six-seater. It matches the um, floorboards so well and just looks so, I think, quite expensive. It only actually cost me £150 from home base. And for an extendable dining table, I was very, very impressed. We've got two chairs, which are my old chairs, and these are the <coughs> new ones. I ordered them from the Cotswold Company. The Cotswold Company, I think it's called. They were £75 each, so mm, £300 for chairs, but actually, that is not a bad price. So they've got uh, wooden legs. I think they're metal, but they just look wooden. And then they've got this gorgeous um, neutral fabric seat cover, which I really like. One annoying thing is, I don't know if you can see that, but there are a few marks and stains on the chairs. I'm gonna have to get in contact with customer service because I don't know whether I'm gonna get any money off or whether we're gonna be able to clean them or whether they can send out some alternatives for us. It's one of those things that I hate doing, like I hate complaining, but in the same instance, like when you're spending a lot of money and I've got four chairs, I don't really wanna have grubby hand marks and stains on my chairs before I've even used them. This is our little dining area in the corner of the room. Alex popped up these prints on the wall in this little corner and I love it. So this was a print that I bought from home and then these three prints are the ones that they brought. But I'm loving this little dining area corner. And then I think we're gonna get a stand for this big uh, plant. I could not tell you what plant it is, but it's from Lidl. <laughs> it's from Lidl. And we're gonna get a little stand and then just pop it into that corner so it gives it 
bit of height. And then in terms of the sofa, so this is the sofa that Georgia bought. This was from Dunelm. I think it was about £500. And it is a lovely, beautiful sofa. We love the oatmeal colour. I like the little legs because they match uh, the dining chairs really nicely. But one problem that we did have with it is that it says it's a three-seater. It is not a three-seater. Maybe a three-seater for kids, but not for three adults. And also, it's not very deep. So when you sit on it, like, it's not very... Let me show you. It's not very comfortable. Like, I mean... I'm quite tall, but in just in terms of like getting cozy on an evening, snuggling, it doesn't really have a lot of depth for you to kind of like snuggle on. It's very, very short. So we found another sofa, which is currently being delivered in about an hour's time. Um, it's from Facebook Marketplace. It was originally from Sophology and you can still buy it online for, I think, £1,200. There's a lot going on today. A lot I need to do. I need to set up the two chairs. The sofa's coming. Slowly but surely, it will become our little home. Okay. Oh. Oh. I literally cannot open boxes for the life of me. Oh, I love the colour. Gorgeous. So this is what the dining table and chairs look like in our flat. I moved the plant into that corner so it could give you a bit of a visual and idea as to kind of what we want to do in this corner. Georgia also bought these candles from Independent the other day and they're so cute. No idea what we're going to do with them, but I just thought they looked cute on top of the table. So what started off as a lovely, slow, cosy morning turned into a very, very hectic one. So obviously we had the sofa delivery, but around the same time we also had Danelm, who we bought the original sofa from come and pick up the original sofa to take that out now everything's quieting down i can finally show you the sofa and also in that time i've also decorated the dining room table with a few bits that i've bought from b&m so like i said the sofa is from sophology it is an x display warehouse sofa i've just popped my two green pillows and just this white one i don't think i like the white one until we get new cushions that will absolutely be fine when I tell you that it's a three-seater sofa, it can probably fit a whole army of people on it. It is so big, so cosy, especially now we're coming to snuggle season where it's just cold outside, it's raining, and you just want to have a little hot chalk, watch the Great British Bake Off, and just like cosy up on the sofa. So yeah, this is the new sofa. We are so, so happy with it. We want to get like a nice cosy throw, maybe like a knitted throw to go over it. We now need to just buy a lamp for the living room and also a coffee table. And also now the table is decorated. So the last time that I showed you the table, it was completely bare. And I actually went to B&M the other day and picked up some absolute bargains. So this is what the table is currently looking like. So obviously you've got the table from Homebase, the chairs from the Cotswold company. And then I bought these beautiful placemats. They were originally five pounds for a pack of two. And then they were actually reduced to two pounds 50 for a pack of two whilst they were on offer and cheap I would pick up six so we've got six matching ones so that for Christmas or any times that we have guests over and we can pull out the table everyone can have a nice little matching place mat we have this beautiful table runner which was 12 pounds from uh, B&M as well and I just love the texture of it I love the color I love the texture I love this like geometric design and how it goes with like the geometric print on the rug and then we've just popped some little bits so I've just got this gorgeous little wax cube candle my primer log vase and then we've got this kind of foliage and also my flatmate Alex bought this beautiful uh, new print which is basically going to sit there to basically finish off this beautiful like corner of artwork. Whilst I'm here um, this is a new piece of furniture as well which has arrived the other day. Let me go outside and show you. So it's this three-seater garden set with this puff. I think you can also take this off and uh, use it as a coffee table as well so it's multifunctional. We bought it I think for 150 50 pounds which is very very good and we bought it from Facebook marketplace so again it's just slowly kind of building things up especially while things are affordable and are at bargain prices we thought we may as well pick it up now so that when it gets warmer in spring summer we've already got it and we don't have to lay out a lot of money to pick it up full price so that is the end of today's video and vlog
vlog. I hope you all enjoyed coming along with me to Brighton and I hope you are all liking how the flat is coming together so far. Let me know in the comments box below whether there's anything that you particularly want to see or whether you have any like decor or furniture recommendations for me for the flat. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did enjoy it then don't forget to smash the like button and of course subscribe down below for more Jamie Day content and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Mwah.